There are tons of educators all across the world whose job it is to teach the next generation about math, English, science, or what have you. But there are some teachers that take the next step and use their positivity to influence their students to become useful members of society. To sort of introduce in our first sentence. One such educator is Peggy Medlin of Cabot High School, who has been teaching and encouraging students for over 30 years. My favorite memory of Miss Medlin was when she dressed up as Hester Prynne to help us understand the Scarlet Letter better. We were all just sitting in class after the bell rang and she walked in and was very animated and stood on a table just so that we would understand and better know the book so we would do better in her class. She is CHS's sole AP language and composition teacher, which carries much responsibility as scoring well enough on the end of the year exam can qualify students for college credit. Of course, this isn't a problem for Ms. Medlin, as her students have some of the highest scores in the state of Arkansas. Oh, I think that she prepared me excellent. It's more about how you analyze different pieces and how you can put together the author's intent and purpose. Miss Medlin is also the chair of the English department at Cabot High, expanding her positive influence to other teachers as well as her students. She's kind of like my teacher mom. She takes care of me and when I complain about having to do stuff, she tells me to suck it up and get in there and do it. However, the thing that sets Miss Medlin apart from every other English teacher has to be her unique catchphrases, nicknamed by her students as Medlinisms. Calls our phones our gizmos. Sometimes when she gets like really angry and it's her way of cussing, she says, shoot a monkey. Her devices are called doofletchers. So of course, corn feathers. Corn feathers. Corn feathers, and she gets pretty fired up about that too. Miss Medlin has poured her heart and soul into her students, and she shows no signs of slowing down. And that is what makes her one in a million. Reporting for CHTV, I'm Tyler Marston.